So here is a simple resource that I've created to allow students to understand the loci rolling circle using the triangulation method. So here we have three templates. One that shows a point P that is a fixed point to two, which is here, P to two. We have another one, P to five. And we have another one, P to eight. Each of these templates form a triangle. So here we have our circle. And just if I lift off this, I also have an outline of each um, triangle in the circumference of the circle. So as I rotate each of these um, templates around my fixed line here, we mark off our points, which creates our locus around here. So to start off with my first one, because it's um, point two we're trying to find, if I put it up here, you can see the outline matches with the template. So as I rotate this, if I go point one, point two, wherever P hits the locus, or sorry, wherever P um, is marked on the page, that gives us our point two. So if I lift this gradually, you can see here point two. So for the second template, which is to find point five, again, as I put it up against my circle, um, the outline matches with my triangle template. So as I rotate this again, one, two, three, four, and five. You can see that my point, my next point, point five, is up here, which forms my curve from point two to five. So point five is on the locus. Now for the final point, point eight, again, as I rotate it, I must ensure that my lines here are in line with my red line to make it more accurate and precise. So four, five, six, seven, and eight. My point here, point eight, is also on my locus. So as I have those points, it forms um, a, a curve, which is known as the locus. So as I keep rolling these points down, to find point 11, you use the same kind of method. You just use your triangle, draw your triangle inside your template, and simply just keep rotating here, and you should find your point 11 there. <laughs>